Understanding the phrase, implicate in. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that often pops up in English conversations and writing, implicate in. Understanding this phrase will not only boost your English language skills but also help you use it correctly in sentences. So, let's get started. Implicate in is a phrase that means to show that someone or something is involved in a crime or some wrongdoing. It's a verb that connects a person or entity to an action, often something negative or illegal. When you implicate someone in something, you're saying there's evidence pointing to their involvement. It doesn't necessarily mean they're guilty, but it does mean there's a connection. Let's look at how to use implicate in in a sentence. When you use this phrase, it's important to follow it with the thing you're suggesting involvement with. For example, the evidence found at the scene implicates him in the burglary. Her testimony could potentially implicate the company in unethical practices. Notice how the phrase is always followed by a noun that represents the negative action or situation. A common mistake learners make is confusing, implicate in, with, imply. Although they sound similar, their meanings are different. Imply, is when you suggest something without saying it directly, while, implicate in, suggests direct involvement. Another error is using, implicate in, when there is no wrongdoing implied. Remember, this phrase always carries a negative connotation. If you want to vary your language, there are synonyms you can use. These include, incriminate, entangle, involve, associate with. Each word carries a slightly different nuance, so choose the one that fits your context the best. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, implicate in. I hope this video has clarified its meaning and usage for you. Remember, language is a tool for clear communication, so understanding the nuances of phrases like this is key. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.